Well, it's been an interesting turn of events recently, to say the least. There's lame ducks, and then there's this. Whether you're excited about RTD returning, you'll think it will be more of the same, or you just don't care. None of this looks good for the already finished, more than a year before she's actually finished, 13th Doctor. Jodie Whittaker opens up about her impending Doctor Who exit. To me, this hasn't finished. Oh yes, it has, Jodie. And even people on opposite sides of the argument now can't wait to see the back of you. Back in July, Doctor Who fans across the globe. Which fans were those? I'd like a citation. Anybody that was ever a real fan refuses to acknowledge anything after 2017. We're shocked to learn that the series would lose star Jodie Whittaker, the 13th Doctor, and first woman to occupy the role. Man, you people. Are you incapable of not including that line? And circus clown Chris Chibnall after a trio of specials airing in 2022. Nobody can believe that these are actually still being made at this point. But then, that's what happens when you're funded by money extorted from other people. While Whitaker did release a poignant statement at the time, which we all had a good laugh at, she has remained noticeably silent about the whole thing over the last several months. Perhaps she's finally started to realize that nobody likes her. Until now, that is. While chatting with Sean Keevney on the most recent episode of the Lineup podcast, never heard of it, the actress opened up about her impending exit and explained that it hasn't really sunk in for her yet. Perhaps the celebrations, fireworks, and renditions of Ding Dong the Witch is Dead when the time comes will help it sink in. While it's strange because you're announcing you're the doctor, it always happens at a very strange time. In this case, in a pre-recorded sequence, so you couldn't hear anyone's actual response because you and Chibs wanted to make sure you controlled the entire narrative right from the beginning. So you announce that you're going to play the Doctor, and it happens before you step foot on set. In your case, you made sure to proclaim that the series celebrated the straight white male gaze, and then seemed perfectly happy that for every male fan that walked away, a female fan would take its place before anybody had actually seen you on screen. Well, where were those fans, Jody? Also of note, Doctor Who's female fans were some of the most critical during your sorry excuse of a tenure. So that's one big announcement. And the very emotionally kind of contradicting thing is you announce you're leaving when you haven't left. Many, not really me, but many are excited about the return of RTD. But they seem to forget that we still have a whole lot of 13th Doctor with six episodes and three specials, to continue to obliterate this once great brand. It's really just setting the rubble on fire at this point. So I am still knee-deep in shooting. So to me, this hasn't finished. We haven't wrapped the season. How have you not wrapped the season yet? You've only had six episodes to shoot, less than half the length of a series during RTD's original run. The incompetence of these people is beyond belief. Because Whitaker is still in the middle of production on her final batch of episodes, she doesn't have to face the reality of letting go of the character just yet. I don't think her ego would ever let her truly let go of the character. She's going to be pooping on it for decades to come, especially if the show ever casts another straight white dude in the lead role. I certainly haven't finished doing any press on it. You don't do much press anyway, Jody. in case somebody asks questions you don't want asked. So I can pretend that I am not leaving for the rest of the year. She continued, I'm still white-knuckling, while running like a duck and scrunch-facing at every white dude that dares look in your direction. While we don't know who will be tapped to replace Whitaker as the next regeneration of the famous Time Lord, as I've said, if it's anything other than the demographic that played the Doctor for 12 regenerations, then we know that the agenda is alive and well. Expect a video on this shortly. Doctor Who fans can rest easy knowing that the franchise is in good hands. Last week it was announced that Russell T. Davies, the writer and producer who helped reboot the property in the mid-2000s, is coming back as showrunner in 2023. I am very, very skeptical about this. And while I'm hoping I'm proven wrong, I won't believe it until I see it. Season 13 of Doctor Who premieres on the BBC this fall, with absolutely nobody watching. I'm Chris from Cultivated Media. Expect a full rebranding of this channel in the coming months. And please follow my new Twitter account linked in the description. And have a great day.